So in this video, previously, we have discussed about creating custom fields and custom objects. So we have created fields. Now what's next? What you're going to do with the fields? So you must have heard about those who know Salesforce about page layouts and record types. So let me give you a brief definition of page layouts and record types. So what are page layouts? It's just a set of fields where you will align all the fields. You can drag and drop and change the alignments of the field. That is page layouts. Now, when it comes to record types, let me explain you with an example, because we always get confused between what are page layouts and what are record types. So you all go for shopping, right? And if you want to go for an Indian brand, you'll go to a local street market. But if you want to purchase an international brand, you will go to a mall. So that's the differentiation between the brandings, right? If you want to differentiate the same kind of stuff in Salesforce, we have record types in place where you can define the different types of page layouts and then you can assign it to record types and then show it to the users. So let's see how it works in Salesforce. So this is the page where you can see if you want, you have sales process A and you have defined the page layout for this process, you will assign it to a record type and then you will assign it to the profile and finally it will reach to a user. A user will be able to see the same changes which you are going to make. So let's see how it goes in Salesforce. So I have picked up an example here of an opportunity. So I'm going to go to setup and make some changes to the opportunity page layout first. So we'll go to object manager. Let's search for opportunity. Here is the opportunity, click on it. Now we'll go to page layouts. We'll open any random layout. And here in this field section, you will see all the list of fields which are created on opportunity level already, which includes custom and standard fields both. Now, if you scroll down, you will see the list of fields here. It's always two columns. It cannot exceed more than that. So you can just drag and drop wherever you want the fields to be moved. If you want this field to appear here, you will just move the section to the right side from the left. And if you want to remove any field, there are two options. Either you can remove it by, by clicking on remove button. And if you want to undo it, you can just click on this button and the field will appear here again. If you want to remove it by dragging, drag and drop, then you can simply drag and drop this field to this panel and this field will be removed from the page layout. Now you also have an option to create a section. If you want to divide the sections on the page, you can just drop this section and name this section as a separate thing. Let's say lead details. And you can drop all the fields related to lead under this section. All right. And then if you scroll down, you will see some system generated fields, system information like created by and last modified by. These are the standard fields which are given by Salesforce. You have the option to remove this section as well. If you want to remove these standard fields, you can remove it from the page layout. Now there is one thing which you need to remember. All these standard fields which you see here with a red asterisk sign, these cannot be removed from the layout. If you try to drag and remove this, you will get this error that this field must be displayed on the page layout and cannot be removed. So you cannot remove these fields. And if you want to make any other field a required field, you can do it from here. You can just click on this properties, make it required or you can make it read only. That means no one will be able to edit this field. This field, field will give them only read only option. And if you move down, if you scroll down, there are related list. These are nothing but the related object, the relationship which we create between the two objects. Those will be shown here into the products. So if you want to remove any related list, you can simply remove it. If you want to drag any related list from the page layout, you can go to related list, drag and drop any other related list here. If you want to customize these columns, you can simply click on this panel icon and you can 
add the field here. If you want to remove something, you can remove the fields here. A point to remember here that you can add only 10 columns at a time. You're not allowed to add more than that. If you try to, let's say, add more than 10, you will get an error here. So you won't be able to make the changes. Okay, and then you also have a few options here. Let's say buttons. If you want to add few buttons on the top, which you see, edit, file, post, new task, log a call and all. So you can either remove it from here or you can add another button also into this action. As we are using lightning, so you will have to drag and drop the button to the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience actions. If you do it in this panel, it will be added to classic UI, but not in lightning UI. Then you have custom links available where you can add some custom links to your page. You can create custom links from the backend and then you can add it here. You have quick actions available where you can create an account from opportunity if you want to create a new contact or a new lead or some shortcuts which you want. So you can simply add it to your panel here on the top. Then you have mobile and lightning actions. The same actions which you see here, you can just remove it or add it if you want into this panel. Then you have expanded lookup, which will look like this, where you will see the account name, the opportunity owner. So whatever relationship you have with the lookup object, it will appear here as an expanded lookup. You will have this option. All these are standard here. That's why it's appearing here. But you can create an expanded lookup from the back end and add it here as well. Then related list sections we already discussed. If you want to add new, you can add something new. If you want to remove it, you can just drag and drop here and it will be removed from the page. Last option is you can add a report chart. Whatever report charts you create from the back end, you can also add it here under the fields. You can add it anywhere and it will show you the report chart. But you have to create the report from the back end. You cannot create it from here. So let's name this report and add it as a new section report. And whatever changes you want to undo, you have this option here. Now, while saving this, you can also preview as the profile, what profile should have access to this page and you can review it. Then you have layout properties where you can decide whether you want to show this as highlight panel show in the console or you want to show it in the interaction log. You can decide that. Now on to this page, there are custom console components, mini page layout and mini console view available as well. So before we do that, let's save this page as a new page layout, which we have just done. Now let me show you custom console components. So these are the custom components which you see on the right sidebar. You can define on the left sidebar what you want and how you want it. If you want it in the stack, define definition or you want it as a tab. You can also decide the look and feel of the sidebar here. Sub tab components also you can define from here. So it will basically add the components to the section to display them on individual sub tabs. So let's see, we select report chart. We have selected the report which we have added as of now. So let's save this. So you have to decide the width here and it is saved. Now you have the mini page layout option as well and you can decide. So mini page layout is like that. Uh, it's a pop-up which you see on any of the screen. 
on any of the field like this so if I click on this name here it's giving me my company name and if I'm active or not so the this is the mini page layout where you can edit fields as per your choice so let's add the field here let's say we add as amount and we add it to the related list cases you can do it on the related list as well now this is the mini console view which is only applicable if you have console if you have created a console otherwise it's not applicable so you don't need to make any changes as of now as because you have not created a console so let's save this and before you create any page layout make sure you have to assign it to the correct profile otherwise your users won't be able to see it you have just created the page layout now you have to go to edit assignment select the page layout which you have created which is this one select the profile whichever profile needs access to this page layout so i'm selecting my profile which is system admin as of now and i'll save it okay now i'll go to opportunities and if i click on new I'll see the changes. Now let's go to the opportunity. So you will see the section which you had created lead details all these fields dragged into this section we'll see it here and this is how you can play around with the page layout and you can rearrange and arrange the fields as per your requirement now let's talk about the record type why it's used we'll go to record types from here So we just created page layouts and we realigned some fields. Now we have to create few record types so that you can understand the concept of record types that why do we create them and how it's assigned to the profiles. So I'm going to give you a normal example. For example, we are creating record types on opportunity level. Now opportunities may have in India region or they may be created in US region also. It can be across the world, right? And you want to differentiate the fields that India users should not be able to see some brands which are from US and US citizens or US users should not be able to see the brands which are sold in India. Makes sense, right? So let's take a look how we can accomplish this project. So I'm going to create a new field for India users with Indian brand. Let's name it as click on new first and we'll select as Pick list we will now name this as Indian brands and we'll enter the value let's say a b c d those are Indian brands for example we hit next and we create another field which we will name as international brands okay. 
third national brands. Now we will give, let's say one, two, three, four, five are international brands. And save. Now we will go to page layout and we will create a new page layout. We can keep any of the layout as a base layout. And let's say this is for India users. Now what we are going to do is the Indian brand field which we have created, we will keep it in this layout and we will hide the international brand field from here. Let's save this and we will create one more page layout. We'll copy any of the layout from the above and we'll name it as international. Let's save this. Now we will hide Indian brands from this and we will keep international brands in this. Now we have two separate record types, two separate page layouts, Indian users with Indian brand field and international page layout with international brand fields. Now we will create two record types as well. One Indian name as active and in case of opportunity you have to have a sales process as well because sales process plays a picture into the pick list values so we will have to create a sales process first we'll go to home we'll go to sales process we'll click on new and we'll create two sales processes here. One is Indian, another one is as international. This one as international. Now we will go back to our record types. Let's refresh this page and select Indian as sales process and create a record type called as Indian. Let's name this as Indian. Select Indian from the drop down, make it active. And now this is the page where you will decide which profile should have access to this record type. So let's make it available for all for now. Hit next. Now this is the page you will give India users because your record type is Indian. That's how you will link your record type to the pro page layout and then these people will be able to see only Indian brand field. So let's save this and create international record type the same way we did it for Indian. We'll go to record type, create new. Let's select international. We'll select international sales process, make it active, make it available for all the profiles, hit next. Now we will select the page layout which is international and we'll click on save. Now if we go to our opportunities and if you click on new, you will see Indian and international which we have created. So if we select Indian from here, you will see only Indian brands fields. And if we select international, you will only see international brand fields here. So we just discussed about page layouts and record types. And I hope I've given examples which will help you to clear your concept for a lifetime. Stay tuned for next videos.